Welcome back, baseball fans. Summer 6972. We got a battle, best of five within the American League between teams who were in first in those middle divisions a year ago. Tigers and Twins. Let's take a look at the standings before we uh, start this. And uh, when we do that, um, the, uh, the Tigers are up 2-1 in the series. Won at home, lost at home, won on the road. So both teams have won games on the road. It's a good sign. However, the Tigers are still just 8-9 and nine on the year. However, this division is really bad this year, so the Tigers aren't in any trouble whatsoever with a losing record. Lucky them. Twins, on the other hand, are 9-7 and seven in a very contentious American League Midwest where the Brewers and the White Sox have not... Uh, fallen away, fallen off. And so you got all four teams within a game of each other. So very contentious. Uh, first three games, first game in Detroit, it was the visiting Twins uh, behind, um, no, I'm sorry, not the visiting Twins. It was Mickey Lolich and the Tigers at home shutting out Jim Cott for nothing. Then in game two, it was the first of a couple road wins. This one, the visiting Twins and Burt Blylevin returned the shutout favor for nothing on Joe Coleman. Then in game three, after a couple shutouts, we go to Minnesota and Detroit comes back and wins 6-3. to three. Behind Les Kane, the number four starter, beats Joel Horland. Joel was let down with some bad defense in that game. And the Tigers, who really could use this series as they have a losing record, have a chance to win game four on the road in Minnesota. And to do that in a game four, they, the Tigers, will send Denny McLean, their number two starter, against, for the Twins, their number four starter, Earl Wilson, who actually was a former Tiger. Interestingly enough, Earl Wilson uh, pitched with Denny McLean on the 69 Tigers. So. A little bit of uh, beating your old teammate here. So let's get started from Minnesota. Dick McAuliffe will lead off for the Tigers. 48, double and eight's a double. Jim Northrup, 57's a K. Al Kaline, 64. A bouncer to third. This is Ed Crosby, a 3E13 to third base. One out, the runner goes to third with two outs and a storm cash who rolls back to the pitcher. Bottom of one, Cesar, Tovar, 410. Sky's in a deep center field. This is Jim Northrup, a 3E6 in center. Makes the grab. Rod Crew, 2 7 K. Tony Oliva, 2 4. Sky's in center field. Gates of Hell Brown, 54. Bounces to second. This is Carew, a 3E27. Makes the play. Willie Horton, here's a who. 39's a walk. Kevin Collins, 1-9, is a walk. Two on, one out. John Rosebro, 2-4. Fielder's choice at second. Runners are on the corners. Two outs. Elliot Maddox, 39, is a walk. Base is loaded. Two outs. Dick McAuliffe, who doubled in the first inning. The pitch to Dick, 56, off Wilson, is a K. So Wilson puts four runners on in two innings and doesn't suffer a run. Harmon Killebrew, 2-8, is a walk. Hal King, 2-8, is a 4-6-3 double play. Joe Haig, 3-12, is a K, plus an injury. Well, Killebrew can play first base, so Haig has to leave. What lucky camper do we want to get into the lineup here? Um, it doesn't really matter too much. I guess George Mitterwald. We'll take over catcher's duties with a minus two arm, though the Tigers have no speed uh, anyway, but yeah. Okay, top of the third. Jim Northrup, 2-6. Base hit. Al Kaline, 42. Center X. This is Tovar. He's a 2-E7 in center field. Makes the catch. Norm Cash, 53. Left X. Cleo James, a 3-E8 in left field, and he makes the grab. And Gates of Hell, 44, second X. This is Carew, a three, and he makes the play. Earl Wilson puts runners on, they don't score. 
Cleo James. 67. The first hit off of Danny McLean. A single to lead off the third. B Steeler. Ed Crosby said B hit runner. He's going to hit and run here. He gets the five on the hit and run. That is a single. That puts runners on the corners for A Bunning, Leo, Chico Cardenas. They bring the infield up. 56. Rolls it to second. McCall ups a 2 e 22 here with the infield up. And the runner holds a third. And the runner at first goes to second. With one out, keeping it up for Tovar. 47, pops a short. And with two outs, it's Carew. 110, let's take a look at Rod Carew's card. This is his 70 card in only 200 plate appearances. He got hurt. That didn't stop him from hitting 366 with this card. This is a base hit in the center field. One run scores, Crosby. 13 runner, 14 15 against the Northrop arm is minus one. That was minus two. Minus one, one of 14, and he scores. Nice two out single by Carew. Twins trying to even this series up of a 2 0 lead. Tony Oliva, 37, 118 is a base hit. Two on, two outs for Killebrew, 46, pops the first. All right, Earl Wilson. Willie Horton, 35. Homer, 1-6 to six double. Let's take a look at Willie Horton's card. This is his 69 card with 28 bombs on it. That is gone, and it's 2-1. to one. Kevin Collins, 1-9 is a walk. His second of the game. John Roseboro, 47, is a walk. And Earl Wilson's starting to... Struggle here. 2-5. Short B for Maddox. Runners are on the corners. The infield's up in a 2-1 game from McAuliffe. 5-10. Short X. Chico Cardenas gets the ground ball B with the infield up. That is a 6-2 fielder's choice. And you got runners at first and second with two outs. And Jim Northrup is your batter. 53. Left X. This is Cleo James in left. He's a 3-8 in left field, and he makes the grab. And the Tigers can only get one run out of that. Hal King, 1-9, double one eight single. This is Mitterwald, 2-2, two -two, short B. Cleo James, 2-2. Two -two. Center B plus injury. The injuries are piling up on the Twins. They lose a left fielder. They will go to Bob Allison, who played a little bit of left field for the Twins in this era. Not very good fielder. He will come in, and with two outs, it's easy Ed Crosby. 6-11, pitcher XE8. Innings over. All right, so the Twins are down to one guy on the bench and up 2-1 in the fifth. It's Al Kaline. 45, short X. Cardinet is a 2-E. Who did I lose again? I lost my left fielder and my first baseman, right? Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Um, 2E17 short. Next play. Norm Cash, 410. Off the Earl Wilson card. Homer, 1 of 16 double. That is gone and we're tied. Solo Homer's last couple innings for the Tigers ties the game. Gates of Hell, 511. Skies it in the center. This is Tovar, 2E7, makes the grab. And Willie Horton. Here's a who again! Back-to-back -back innings. You saw the card earlier. We'll show it again. Why not, right? Yeah. So we got the homer 1-6 to six in the 3 column, and he hits the homer in the 1 column. One of the two homers in the 1 column. And three solo homers for the Tigers. They are 15 outs away from winning this series in four games. Kevin Collins, 56 Ks. Sadly, Kevin Collins is the best the Tigers can do at third base. He's a he's a uh, 3E37 <laughs> at third. My goodness. Who hit 213. Anyway. Bottom of the fifth. It'll be Cardness leading it all. 511. Pitcher XE8. And an error on McLean. That's not good. Tobar, comma, Cesar, 1-7. It's a 6-4-3 double play. Hmm. Yeah. 
Carew. Rod, 1-4, is a strikeout. Five innings in the book. Tigers lead 3-2. Let's pause a moment for station identification. This is the Shrimp Trawler video channel. Este es el canal de videos de camaroneros. <sighs> Ice. Sixth inning. Roseboro. 57 is a K. Elliot Maddox. 412. Pitcher B. 3 2 lead. They're going to put Trzuski in defensively. Interesting move, but whatever. Their defense is terrible on, on the left side of the infield. Dick McCullough, 54. Bouncer to second. This is Carew. It's a 3. E27. And he boots the ball. And with two outs, Northrup, 1 8. Double 1 to 15 is a double. Second and third for Earl Wilson trying to stay in this thing. Al Kaline. 35 is a walk, so here's your game right here. You got the bases loaded. Twins have a great bullpen. They're down two to one in the series. If you want to dip into the Ron Peronowski, Stan Williams, Pete Reichert realm, I, I'm thinking do it. And after looking at all the runners that Earl Wilson's put on base, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, he's lucky that it's only three to two, so. Let's take a look at Ron Paranowski. Coming into the game, Twins have one of the better bullpens in all of baseball, and this is where they need to make a stop. Paranowski comes on to the six with the bases loaded and two outs to face Norm Cash. Let's take a look at Norm's card. He's had a big year thus far. Obviously, it's righties better than lefties. Here, it's a big moment here for the Tigers who are trying to get their season on track. Bases loaded, two outs. He homered last inning. Willie Horton has two home runs in this game. Norm Cash would love to also have two home runs in the game. The pitch to Norm Cash. 58 off Paranowski is a pop to third, and the Twins are alive. Bottom of the sixth, Denny McLean, a starter nine. One run lead, Tony Oliva. 66, double one to three is a base hit. Killebrew, 58, this guy's the center. Hal King, 68, single one to 12, lines out on a 19. And with two outs, it's Mitterwald, 110, single one to eight, single. Wrong spot though. Two on, two outs for Bob Allison. In for the injured, uh, what's his name? 35, Bob Allison, single one to 10, gets the single. And the bases are loaded for Easy Ed Crosby with two outs. The pitch to Crosby, 1-7, let's take a look at Ed Crosby. One of these teams got the big hit with two outs. It wasn't Norm Cash, but Ed Crosby, triple one to four, double with the bases loaded and two outs, that is a double. Allison, 12 runner, 13-14, minus one arm. You can run on a 13 if you're the home team, and he will. And he scores on 11, making it a three run double. Good news for the Twins. They take a 5-3 lead. Chico Cardenas, 34, is a walk. Tovar, 2-9, pops the third. All right, Paranowski, you got Paranowski, Williams, and Riker to finish this thing. This should be a win for the Twins, you'd think. Gates of Hell will have to leave. He can't hit lefties. So we will see Bill Freehand come in for him. Freehand, 62, first. Willie Horton looking for his third straight homer. 47, single one to 15 is a single. Kevin Collins, uh, you're kind of in trouble now. You already took Maddox out of the game for Trzuski. That's why you don't do that. That's why you don't make that move. So Kevin Collins, 68, lines a third. And Roseboro, you might as well take him out with freehand catching and go with your last guy on the bench, Mickey Stanley. Stanley, 68, is a pop to third base, and the inning's over. Stretch time here in Minnesota with a 5-3 lead. We got the dulcet tones of Mr. Prince. I realize the year is much later than the period we have in question, but frankly, I was just wanting to hear Prince, so yeah. 
79, Minnesota. You get the idea. So there you go. Bottom of the seventh inning. 5-3 Twins trying to even this thing up. Denny McLean's going to stick around, though. One bad inning there at a sixth. It'll be Carew leading it off. 45 left. Tony Oliva, 66. Double one of three, base hit. Killebrew, 2-8 walk. This could be the final batter here. Hal King, 58, flies to right. And with two outs, it's Mitterwald. 2-9, base hit to right field. And it's Oliva against the center fielder's arm. 16, 17, 18, minus one is 17. He gets thrown out of 20. Nice throw, Jim Northrup. Kept the Tigers in the game. All right, eighth inning. Two-run lead. We'll pull Paranowski. We got a nice bullpen here. We'll go Williams in the eighth and Reichert in the ninth, if needed. Stan Williams. Take a look at Stan in the eighth. Trzuski, McAuliffe, and Northrop. Dick Trzuski, 47, single one to 12. Lines out on a 15. Tough, tough inning there. Tough at bat there. Dick McAuliffe, 38, single one to 14. Rolls an 18. Really tough breaks to the Tigers. And Jim Northrop, 45, triple one to three, single as a single. And the tie in run with two outs is Al Kaline. 2-5, let's take a look at Al Kaline's card against the righty. Not a homer, but triple, 1-6, double. Is a double to center field. Northrop is a 15-16-17. He's going to have to run against a minus one arm. Makes it 1-16 to score, and he does. We have a one-run game. The tie runs in scoring position. It's Norm Cash again. Do you bring in the lefty who's better against lefties? which is Reichert. I think you do that. They're going to do that. They're going to have ask Pete Reichert. If you, if, you, if you have this great bullpen, you might as well use it. Not let it sit there and collect dust. So Reichert, take a look at him. He's going to come on in in the eighth inning to get a four-out save. Tie run at second. Norm Cash. Last time he was in the situation, Norm popped a third. He's got the tie run at second. With two outs, the pitch to Norm Cash. 62 is a sky to center field. This is Tovar. It's a two in center field, and he makes the grab. 5-4 game. Good baseball game. Bottom of the eighth, Denny McLean. How many men has he put on base? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's get him out of there. I know it's... He's probably... They're going to bring Tom Timmerman in. They don't need to bring a lefty in. It's just that they, need, they should bring somebody else in. So seven innings for Denny McLean. And it'll be uh, Tom Timmerman in the eighth. And it's Bob Allison. 45 pops to first. Twins are trying to do this with two guys hurt. Ed Crosby, 2-2. Two -two. First... And Cardness, 43, first X. This is Cash. So 2E9 at first. Cheap single. Not a good day for Norm Cash, is it? Tovar with two outs. 2-8, two Tovar, base hit center field. Cardness with two outs, won't get thrown in a third. Carew, 4-4, four, four, off of the tournament card, third X. Collins is a 3E37. That's an error. It won't score the run, but it is an error. And it's Tony Oliva, and the Tigers have to do something here. You gotta at least pretend to get, you want to get Tony Oliva out. So John Hiller will come in in the ninth. The base is loaded and two outs in the eighth. With the base is loaded and two outs, a lot of bases loaded situations. To face Tio, Tony Oliva, base loaded two outs in a 5-4 game. You need to get this guy out. The pitch to Oliva. 65 off Hiller is a bouncer to short. Now, this is defensive replacement Trzuski, a 2E36, and a cheap single dot off Trzuski. One team continues to make the clutch hits. The other team does not. And it's the Twins in control today. That base hit will score this guy. It's now a two-run lead. Base is still loaded for Killebrew. 69, bounce of the second. So, Reichert gets an, an insurance run in the eighth.
Six to four in the ninth. Bill Freehand will lead it off. Three ten skies to center. Willie Horton here's a who. 45 flies to left. And with two outs, unfortunately for the Tigers, there's nobody left on the bench. Let's take a look at Kevin Collins' card. Yup, folks, does not have an on base against left handed pitching. This is the uh, unfortunate situation of the Tigers this year. Their left side of the infield is probably the worst in all of baseball, and it's going to cost them this game. Collins with two outs. I don't believe it, but he gets the single off Reichert's card on 6-4. That would have been a solo homer if he had power, but at least he's on base. So with two outs now, it's Mickey Stanley. Now let's take a look at Mickey. Now he's got a definite chance to tie this game. With two outs in the ninth inning, Mickey Stanley, the pitch. 1-3, flies to right field. Boy, this has to hurt if you're a Tiger fan. They had so many chances in this game. And they do not get the win. And the series is tied two games apiece, going back to Tiger Stadium for a game five. It's not all bad. I mean, the, you know, Tigers still have home field for game five, but they really would have liked getting um, a 3-1 series win. Riker gets the save. Inning in the third, gave up a hit. Stan Williams, two hits and a run. Paranowski gave up a hit. Earl Wilson, everything else. And uh, actually, Paranowski will get the win because Earl was hooked before the comeback in the bottom of the sixth inning. Six hits and three runs. He walks six, struck out four. Danny McLean does get the loss. Went seven. In the eighth inning, uh, Hiller came in and faced. T.O. gave up a hit. Timmerman gives up uh, one, two hits and an unearned run. Everything else. McLean, 11 hits and five runs. A bad sixth inning. Walk three, struck out three. 1019 So the Tigers put 16 men on base in that game. The Twins put 17 men on base in that game. Very close series. Well played for the most part. It's all about uh, hitting with two outs was the determining factor of that game in a big way. So see here that's game number four and we'll take a look at the year-to-date box so we're right back to where we were before the series started two to two no movement in the standings for either team that's not good for the Tigers the twins are now 10 and 7 on the year Twins are hitting 278 with a 414 team ERA. Burp Lylevin uh, is 3 0 on, you know, on, uh, on par to possibly pitch in the All Star game for them. Uh, Cruz having a nice year 29 for hits and 73 trips. Tigers are still a couple games under 500. They're 8 10. Hitting 266 with a 418 ERA. Lost a lot of tough losses in close games for the Tigers. And for the year, we've played 223 games. The league is hitting 259 with a 387 ERA. That'll do it tonight. I'll play a game five and uh, I'll report on that in the next video. And thanks for checking out the videos. We'll see you next time.